give you a little tour uh, through the studio and the rooms where we hang out these days. This is like the, the lounge. As you can see, this is the room where our dear friend Paul and Michiel, our webmaster, hang out like three quarters of the time. They are there, you can see the coffee machine, very important. Good stuff. Fridge. Then we walk into the control room. So this is a room where we, where Greg Gordon over there, he monitors our uh, performances. And here we have like a fantastic old Neve desk. That's what they call it. Lots of knobs to twiddle, lots of faders to push all the way up. Follow me. Records. Yes, we still play records. Chewing gum. This is the tape room. Ladies and gentlemen, we are still recording on tape and we have every tape machine in the building running. Everything that carries tape and can record tape at this moment in Sunset Sound is inside this room and is running and is recording. And here we move into the, the big recording room. This is where the main thing happens. This is where the stuff happens. It all begins with the beat and the beat sits there. That's where Mario lives. We have a lot of fantastic microphones uh, around the drum kit. There's even the boombox that's hanging over there. There's two microphones in it. It's also recording, so another tape machine. It's actually a fantastic boombox for those who know the band Bark Market. The intro of Visible Cow was recorded on that boombox. But anyway, this is where Paul lives during the recording of the basic tracks. We, we record together, the three of us, to record a basic track, which is like drums, guitars, and bass. We all play it together. And we have uh, also a nice vocal setup here. That's the cool thing. We can, at all times, uh, if you want to work further on songs and, and add some more percussion or guitars or whatever, I can go there in, in the booth where the guitar stuff is, or I can flip to doing a backing vocal or doing a vocal for, for a song. We can switch to anything we want to do whenever we want. So it's a uh, luxury, baby, luxury. You can see there's also microphones that are pointed at the wall. You might think, is there a singer kind of uh, nailed into the wall? No, there isn't. They're just recording the sound that is bouncing off the wall. And when we only want to have the big, big, big drum sound, then we move our guitar and uh, bass amplifiers to separate rooms that are called a booth. And there, dear friends, is the bass booth. There are uh, a couple of bass amplifiers standing over there, and they are blasted really loud. But that way, with the double glazing, uh, the microphones in here won't hear that sound, so Paul can go really wild if he wants to let me guide you around so this is part of a guitar setup where well everything moved uh, right now to the booth because we can uh, let me show you the cool thing about this also is there's uh, the guitar amps lined up sometimes we change amps uh, depending on what song we're doing we're having some great stuff here there's guitar flying around the cool thing is, if we want to have the big uh, drum sound and we don't have, we don't want any of the noise of the guitars leaking into the microphones of the drums, we just close the door. That's how it goes. And I, I'm there all by myself. Sometimes people slide in a salad or something, and I'm perfectly happy. I guess that's about it. Um, yeah, I wish you a very nice day, evening or morning or whatever time it is 
over there. Toodaloo.